You can head down to the park with your family all summer long to enjoy a number of Shakespeare plays with a parks tour and the 63rd annual season of the Kentucky Shakespeare Festival in Central Park. Joining me now with everything that they have to offer a preview of the season is artistic director Matt Wallace. 63 years, Matt. Wow, it blows my mind. It's even. crazy, yes, it's but it, I feel like it is a treasure to us to have this in Central Park. And um, I love the idea of the tours because it's what hasn't it been like a great sample in your neighborhood park to kind of know that's why I need to go get the full experience. Absolutely. We started in 2014 taking it to nine parks mm -hmm. and this year 36 parks. And this is the final two weeks of our Shakespeare in the Parks Hamlet tour. Uh, so we'll, we'll be uh, kicking it off tonight, kicking the week off at Farnsley Park tonight. Beautiful. This weekend we're going to Bernheim Forest for the first time. Mm -hmm. So lots of uh, that's going to be remarkable. Great out locations, there. That's yes. A great location. In their spirit nest is where we're going. It's going to be. Oh, it's going to be really cool. Beautiful. <laughs> and then later this month, opening the season with. Yeah. Um, Midsummer Night's Dream. That's right. Two wow. weeks from tomorrow, we open our 63rd season. It's going to be a gorgeous production of Midsummer Night's Dream to kick us off. We will have Puck, the magical fairy, will actually fly this summer in Central Park. Uh, so that will run for three weeks. And then we have the classic Macbeth will run for two weeks. And Love's Labor's Lost, a lesser known comedy that we're setting in the 1950s oh. with 1950s music. See, uh, that's what I love that you all do. <laughs> you put a twist on everything. Yes. that it, It's not the Shakespeare that you'd be like, oh gosh, how did I read that in high school? Right. We'll get ready for something so different. I agree. Uh, you really do. It's oh, just you make you. it, I think, too really interactive, mm -hmm. right? And there's, uh, that kids can enjoy. We really try to make it fun and accessible. And just like the Globe Theater, you know, you see these photos, mm -hmm. uh, the first act is in daylight. So you can see the audience, we can interact with the audience. And then the magic takes over when uh, we, the lights come into play in act two. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mentioned kids. You uh -huh. do have something there on the grounds that you're planning so the kids can go play and enjoy other things too. We sure do. When we they have need a... to move. Yes, oh, that's the great thing about <laughs> theater great. outside. Yeah, they can move and do whatever they yes. want to. There is a, um, we have a kids globe tent. So it's a little inflatable interactive tent with activities. They might learn a dance that's gonna be in the show or uh, do some sort of arts activity. And soon, I, I don't know if you've seen in Central Park, uh, Olmstead Parks has a beautiful new playground and we're hoping that's gonna be open by summer, we have ice cream and dessert trucks and food trucks every night, so it's a lot of fun. And you see people bring their pets on a leash or strollers, and it's re just really uh, inclusive of everyone. Yeah, probably too, when you open up your season to see so many familiar faces, it probably feels like a family reunion every summer of people that it treasure is. coming down, and you know, it's just part of their summer. It is, it is. So many hugs and uh, you know, people, I might just know their face from all yeah. of the years, uh, but also the stories, you know, uh, uh, a grandparents now bringing their grandchildren oh. and they came when they were little or people who met on their first date there. So we encourage folks to come out and create their own uh, Central Park Kentucky Shakespeare stories. Well, you have great fans. You also have a great community of actors. Yeah. Uh, are there a local, a lot of local actors this year? Or are you having actors that are coming in from other states? Yeah, or you know, it's, both? it's really important to us to really use the talented uh, professional local uh, talent pool here. So uh, all of the actors uh, this season are, are locally based. Um, you might see them on other folk stages yeah. like stage one and actors theater during the year. Uh, we have some great uh, talented acting interns from U of L who are grad students. So, yeah, you're going to see a wealth of uh, the talent from the community, including uh, pre shows. Every night you come, 715, we have a different community group uh, performing a pre show. So, you might get to see the talented folks at Down Syndrome of Louisville or Amped or a band or a stand up comic. Mm -hmm. Give them a little love too. And That's then, right. Then you know to support them for it's other a events. Of our and community. it's really good, I think, for their <laughs> group to get. Uh, some attention from a broader audience. Absolutely. Matt, great to catch up with you. It's so great catching up. Thank you so it's much. It's going to be a fantastic season. Thank so you. Uh, to learn a little bit more and get your tickets to, to learn more about all the events, the shows, the coming up, the dates, just go to Shakespeare.ky, Shakespeare.com.